obviously got to be frustrating, especially as well as you played in the second, right? Yeah, frustrating one. Um, unacceptable by us. I mean, it's happened too many times, and um, you know, tonight it was uh, penalties, and they were able to capitalize on the power play. Um, we weren't in the third. Um, so, yeah, that's on us. The, the similarity in these outcomes has been an early goal in the third period. How much did that impact you guys tonight, giving up the early goal? Yeah, it seems like it's been happening too often, and um, you know, obviously they have um, a power play to start. Um, even if they get one, I think we got to get on the attack, and we didn't. And um, another penalty, and then and then I can't take my penalty, and they're right back in the game. Um, so we got to, you know, it's like I said, it's it's frustrating. It's it's unacceptable. I mean, we we play a good second period, give ourselves a lead, and um, let them back in it. How, uh, how difficult is it, whether you're giving up goals or not, to get momentum when you're constantly having to be on the kill? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, the kill, uh, you know, the penalties hurt us big time, but we didn't give ourselves a chance to get on the forecheck, get our legs going in the third period. Um, they scored, we kind of sat back, and then we took penalties. Like I said, myself included. And we didn't give our chance, ourselves a chance to get our legs, get on the forecheck, take some pressure off our D. And, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. But at this point, I'm sure you guys all know, you know, what the the issues have been, obviously, with the third <laughs> period. Is it? I mean, is it? Do you guys talk about it in the second intermission, or is it just something you don't talk about because you don't want to, like, you know, bring up bad feelings or anything? No, we talk about. It. I mean, it's um, it's got us too many times this year where we let off the gas in the third period, and um, just period to period, it's been um, up and down, and. Just trying to find that 60-minute game, and um, you know our second was much better than the thir first, and we wanted to have our best period in the third. And um, obviously, they took it to us, and you know tied the game up. We let them right back in it. So um, it's something um, you know we focus on, but obviously need to get a lot better. And um, yeah, it's on us. It's it's not acceptable. That's a obviously. A Really, really good team uh, over there with a good power play. Um, you guys, what, what like with the PK it was so good early on. Uh, it's been struggling a little bit. Are there things that you can look at with the PK and and, and maybe tweak to to get some better results? Yeah, we'll look at it. Um, we're trying to find ways. That's a good power play. We we needed our kill to, to step up, and they were able to get you know I think three power play goals. Um, so obviously we want to do a better job. We take pride in. You know, having a good penalty kill, and um, like you said, as of late, um, we get scored on too much for for us. So we'll look at it. Um, you know, yeah. Tex uh, played really well in the second period. Another shorthanded goal. Uh, let's start with the positives there, and what was working so well in that second period. Yeah, I think we're playing simple, uh, north, fast, and. Uh, yeah, we were, we were playing our game. Yeah. What what took that away then in the second period? Was it that first goal, that first power play goal by Vancouver? Did that kind of knock you off your uh, knock you off your game a little bit? Yeah, I mean it's it's hard to say right now, but I think the you know three PP three goal they took over uh, five minutes or six whatever it is. It happened quick in in, in this league and uh, can can really take a shift off. Uh, you know, just gonna. Watch with some clips and, and move on. We have a big game tomorrow. How fine is the line between knowing you have a lead and trying to play with that lead and and, and trying to build on it at the same time? If you understand what I'm saying, it's, is it a fine line for you guys? I mean, we 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 gotta we gotta find it. I mean, we we gotta figure it out. I mean, it just you know three three PP three goals took over and then you know four one early in the third. You can can really lose that game. You know, it's. It's, it's just on us right now. Yeah. You, you've had, I mean, I, I, going back to Toronto, it was like a huge second period, 5 nothing league going in there. This one, huge second period, 4-1. to one. When you have really good periods like that and then they're followed up by this, how, how tough does that make, um, you know, what you guys are going through and trying to figure out right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's tough. Uh, you hate losing. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's a learn, learning process, I guess. Let's call it that way. For, for us, for the young guys, uh, so I think for everybody, we we gotta we gotta learn, and uh, it's 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 tough when when you're up by three and uh, 
this happened, but uh, you you know you gotta stay positive. I think you gotta move on, work, uh, try to get better, try to learn from this, and uh, and do it uh, the, the game after for 60 minutes. Yeah, P uh, PK you know leads to your goal in the second, and then in the third they they obviously get three. The PK has been a little you know it's it's it started off so well this season the first two three months or two months. What, what are there? Areas of that that you can look at and say, hey, we need to be better, you know, in, in these technical areas to, to get that back where it needs to be. Yeah, I think, you know, we've been doing a pretty, pretty good job on the PK, but uh, got to be consistent. Uh, you know, game happened, you know, it's, it's quick. Uh, it happened quick and, uh, you know, we watch the clip, we watch the PP you know, before every game and we kind of know what they're doing, but... Um, you know, I think we tonight's game we we gotta do a better job uh, for, for PK. I mean, you know, they can go seem a couple times, uh, especially if we knew it and we watched the tape and it kind of really happened. But uh, learning process. Zach, you point to the uh, the power play goals that were given up in the third. Is that is that lack of discipline or what what happens there when you have a lead and you're trying to protect it and obviously can't hang on it? Yeah, um, I thought a few of those calls were kind of soft, to be honest, uh, especially Voros. Um, but we have to do a better job killing. Obviously, it's a good power play unit uh, on their team. I think it's probably one of the top in the league. And, um, you know, when a team's that good on the power play, one, you can't give them opportunities. And when you do, you definitely can't let them seem us like that. In fact, they found the seam to Patterson a bunch, uh, seam back up to Hughes a lot. And it makes you have to reset on the penalty kill. So um, I thought they did a good job of. You know, making those same plays, finding open guys, and it's hard to defend, but uh, we have to do a better job not letting that puck get through the middle of us. Is this team still a little bit fragile when they give up that early goal in the third period in a situation like that? It seems like that has been kind of the impetus for, for outcomes like this when, when they happen. Uh, maybe. I mean, I, I would have liked to have seen how the third period went if we didn't take all those bar, or penalties. Yeah. You know, um, would have been a good test for our group. Obviously, it's a good team over there. Uh, it's kind of hard when they score three power play goals or whatever it was in the third period. Um, so I would have liked to, you know, see what it was like five on five or even, you know, one penalty, uh, just to see if we could, you know, find a way to win that game. But um, that's how it went tonight, and we have to find a way to to kill those penalties off and, and you know, obviously hold a four one lead. On the flip side of it, five minutes of power play opportunity, and you couldn't just mm -hmm. couldn't get anything going there. Was that their kill, or were you just not able to get things set up? Yeah, I just don't think we were sharp. Um, I thought our first two power plays were good. I thought we had some chances. We we're moving the puck well. Our break-ins were good. I think on that five minute. Um, we had a tough time getting in the zone. Um, where they didn't get much zone time. They didn't really get much set up. Um, you know, part of that's their kill, obviously. But uh, I think just for us, it wasn't as crisp as the first two. And it's a big moment in the game. You would like to get one there and, and get us back in the lead with, you know, I think it's like three minutes left after that or whatever. So, um, you know, it's our power play was good in Calgary. We get one on it. We got one tonight. But it would have been nice to get one uh, on that five minute. Zach, you know, in this situation where you guys have you know kind of struggled to, to um, hold leads in the third it's been some wild swings you know like second period great third period bad how tough is that just for you guys as a team mentally to kind of keep moving forward through this stuff when these things happen yeah for sure it's all you can do I mean we're in this position and you know no one's gonna feel sorry for us we got to work our way out of it um, you know I I don't even know if the third period was necessarily bad outside the fact that our penalty kill just didn't get the job done. Uh, I still think we had some chances. I thought guys worked hard, but uh, we got to stay out of the box. Our power play has to come through, through for us. And, um, you know, I think just play a sharper third for the most part. Don't even give them a, a reason to make a call. Um, but, yeah, no, it's it's definitely tough, obviously. But we're in this position, and we got to find a way to get out of it. Yeah, Elvis was, like, pretty much fantastic in the first period mm -hmm. and into the second. Is it tough to, to see a result like this, you know, when he plays like that to kind of hold you guys in it early? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he was great in the first period especially. Um, like I said, that's you in two periods. He, he kept us in it. You know, it could have been 2 nothing, 3 nothing, something like that. But uh, we started coming in the second period. We got the lead, played well. Um, and then third period, it's just a weird period, you know. A penalty kill obviously has to be better, but we would have liked to get the result for him. thought he played really well, and like you said, in the first you know, period, two periods. But um, it's a team game, and it's just where we're at, I guess. Goes without saying that the, the penalties killed you in that third period there. Just, was that lack of discipline? Was that 
loss of uh, structure. Well, yeah, no, was it, it was, it, no, it was uh, deserved. Um, but you know, it's so you you tied the first period. I think Elvis was really good in the first. Um, that's a real good hockey team we played against. They lost what four times in regulation here all year. Um, but we managed to be in the game second period. Real good one. We won that period, and they won the third in the in um, on special teams to go to overtime. But um, no, the, I mean the result of the penalties were also the result of us not executing. And uh, I think it was the byproduct. Just just keeping it simple. Just playing the sim simple game here. Um, Try to make plays when we didn't have to. Little things like that led to trouble. And uh, our team is improving. We're, uh, we've seen baby steps in how we manage those moments. Uh, but tonight uh, we needed a kill. And, and the five, uh, five, uh, five minute power play, we needed to create some at least momentum. So we uh, got to learn from that. What, uh, what made it challenging to get that, that power play set up with that five minute opportunity that you had there? Well, just in, uh, you know, we have uh, routes and, and breakouts. And there's a mindset behind it uh, to attack with speed. We just didn't have the same, same speed. If you don't have speed through the neutral zone, it's going to be really hard to attack. Uh, the penalty kill at the offensive blue line and we just didn't have we just didn't connect just like the five on five in that third period just didn't connect and then for the rest of the period we were pretty good we had some ozone time so um, still too many ups and downs in our games um, but it's um, at least the worst thing for a coach is when you don't understand what's happening you don't know the solution because it's too it's great. Um, tonight, we know what, what happened, and we can fix those things. What, what is that solution? <clears throat> well, it's, it's going to be uh, to uh, go over the video first to make sure what I'm thinking right now will fit uh, uh, the research, uh, post-game research. Uh, but it's just small, it starts with small decisions, small plays, strong plays, uh, but keeping it simple. How much of it? challenge is it to what you guys are doing with the growth you know as the season's going along when you do so many good things in like a second period and then it just all goes away in the third is, well, is that it, tough is that yeah tough? it doesn't go away completely like it did early in the season uh, early in the season we were making uh, real bad individual mistakes now it's more just settling down, having the poise and the confidence to make plays when they're there, but also forcing the other team to beat you. And uh, that comes with pressure, that comes with managing the puck, uh, having the confidence to make plays when you have uh, an open man. But I, I think it, the growth, if there was no growth, then that'd be very um, scary. That be We would be questioning what we're doing and how we're doing. but. I feel, the, I mean, we're improving, we're, we're, we are. And uh, we'd have told us that we'd get a point tonight in Vancouver. So we'll go, we'll take the, the point and go to overtime. Like I said, we can, all, we can focus on the third period. Um, we can focus on the second period, that'd be only positive. Uh, think about the first, how we can manage those moments a little bit better. I think overall, when you look at the big picture, um, with some really good moments and some moments uh, that we need to improve. But the, the special teams, their special teams were better than ours. And, and um, at the end of the day, that's that's what cost us. When you have a lead starting the third, especially a multi-goal lead, is it a is it a talking point in the second intermission at this point for you? Like when you address the team before you go out? Hey, you know, are you telling them anything about poise or anything like that? Or, we, we always do. We always do. Uh, but... There, these are the things that you can talk about all day long. You need to experience them. And again, it, we're improving in that area. Uh, but that, to me, the key moment is that first goal in the third period. It just changed uh, the whole momentum. We killed that one. I think uh, it's a different, I think it's a different end of the story, but we didn't.